Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to try to make an obscure arsenic compound that I can find very very little information about called potassium tetra arsenite. Um, you can see the formula for it there on the screen. I, I can find a lot of things that mention tetra arsenites Tetra arsenite appears to be a thing. Atomistry gives two different ways of making potassium tetra arsenite, and as usual, it is vague as hell. Um, I found one paper that was beautiful, wonderful, apparently all kinds of detailed experiments and preps exactly with this compound and how to make it. And Sci-Hub doesn't have it. I can find nowhere. I mean, I can only find one mention of this paper on the Internet. It's like from 1864. Um, so, of course, the one paper that could give us all the answers we need, we don't have. Um, I One of the ways that Atomistry gives that you can make this stuff is to com combine arsenic trioxide, which we have here, with potassium carbonate. I don't know, and we're supposed to combine these two, create a solution of them, boil them, and then on cooling, I guess, it is supposed to precipitate out. The other way that it gave to make it was to, um, it is this prep that involves adding alcohol, you take, it, it's even more vague. It, I, I couldn't really tell exactly, it said, it was, what it wanted us to do or how I was supposed to go about doing it. So hopefully this simpler one will work. I don't know, y'all. This is either going to work or it won't. I'm not even 100% sure how I'm going to be able to tell if it works since, I mean, arsenic trioxide isn't terribly soluble in water, and if we dissolve it in less than the amount it takes to dissolve it when it's cold... It'll just crystallize back out. I don't know. Hopefully this works, y'all. I guess we'll find out, right? So, I guess let's put a little water in here. It always does this. It always gets so clumpy. Let's turn on the heat. Okay. Potassium carbonate here. I don't know why I did that. Probably would have been easier just to dump the solid in there, but... Whatever. Now, the um, arsenic trioxide is in a slight excess. Um, I went with the, the basic stoichiometry that the compound gives, so there's all, um, slightly more than two molar equivalents of arsenic trioxide um, and one equivalent of potassium carbonate. I don't know, y'all. We'll see if it works. Okay, everybody, it is incredibly hard to tell, but I think we were actually successful, believe it or not. Um, so I evaporated this down until it was about 30 mils in volume, and then I added in absolute alcohol. This caused something to precipitate out. You can see it best if I stir it up. At least, I think you can. This formed... Well, it's hard to see now. This had formed like a, a 
thick, white, cloudy precipitate. And as it has sat here over time, it has turned almost into, well, I hope you can see it, an oily liquid on the bottom of the beaker. Let's see if I turn it around again. Maybe I can get it on camera. I hope that's showing up. It just kind of, oh yeah, maybe, maybe from this direction. There, you can see there is this goop in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that this actually worked because in alcohol, um, potassium tetraarsenite is supposed to form a liquid, like a syrupy liquid from which it crystallizes kind of slowly. I, I, don't, I don't really know. This made a precipitate, then it kind of formed what looked almost like a oily, liquidy stuff. I hope that this is showing up. And I would bet money that this stuff is probably going to crystallize if I let it sit there for a little while. It almost kind of seems like it's doing so. This stuff has changed around a lot in a very short period of time. Because Maybe I can get it to precipitate something again if I add in more alcohol. Let's give it a try. It has been incredibly hard to know what to do because there's so little information on this compound. Okay, yes, yes, it is still making it drop out when I add in alcohol. This is absolute ethanol. Okay, I am confusion because why does it keep going away? Is it the alcohol evaporating off? Is there just not enough of it? What is happening here? This is fucking weird. Now, it should be noted that arsenic trioxide is also insoluble in ethanol, but the arsenic trioxide dissolved and stayed in solution long past where it should have. I mean, yeah, okay, maybe it formed arsenic um arsenic acid, but the potassium carbonate's in there, and so arsenic acid will react with that. So I don't think it can be arsenic trioxide. I think this is the stuff we're after. And based on what I've been able to find, reading everything I can find um, on atomistry and the literature, which is essentially identical, um, we should, I think, be able to distinguish it from orthoarsenite and meta-arsenite. So if we've made the wrong thing, I think we should be able to tell. Um, Atomistry describes cobalt orthoarsenite and cobalt tetraarsenite as looking different. So, and they, I think, will turn different colors if you subject them to some simple chemical operations. So, maybe, possibly, if it's not te the tetraarsenite and if it's orthoarsenite, it would be, that'd be something, because I don't have that. And if it's more meta-arsenite, well, then we've, I guess, got a lesson in another way to make that shit. <laughs> okay, people, an interesting development here. So, I left this stuff sitting overnight, and it probably helps if you can actually see it. Um, and it looks like it's crystallized. Now... Potassium tetraarsenite is supposed to crystallize from ethanol on long standing. That's what atomistry says. That's what that other book that people have pointed me to. I, I, it's on this, the titles on the screen. Um, great book, but it says verbatim. I mean, word for word, exactly what atomistry says about this compound. So while it's a great book, it's not exceptionally helpful. However, as you can see, it looks like we've got crystals here. I have tried sloshing this stuff around and it's not moving. <laughs> We're going to discover together exactly what the fuck is going on here. So 
Here we go, peeps. Moment of truth. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, Atomistry said it would form a syrupy liquid that crystallizes on long standing. That's what we've got here. It's like a syrupy, sticky gunk. Look at that. That's fucking wild. Oh, and I just got it on my hand. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get it off, get it off. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, that's fucking cool. Well, I have no goddamn clue how long this is going to take to crystallize. The fact that it's behaving this way makes me think it's potassium tetraarsenite. Let's see if we can prove it. Okay, now that I've decanted off the ethanol, you can see the syrupiness of it. Look at that. That is so goddamn... Well, it's... I mean, it's arsenic sludge. It's still cool, though. I don't give a goddamn. I just hope it fucking crystallizes. Before our eyes, what is happening here? This stuff is incredibly weird. Okay, what, what are you doing? Are you crystallizing? Are you? You kind of look like you are. There's little chunks in you now. I don't know what those chunks are. Why are you turning colors? Don't turn colors. Okay, wait, are those crystals? Those are crystals. Okay, well. Okay, so first test is to see, will this dissolve in water? Survey says, yes. Well, is it? Yes, it does. Okay. Well, that rules out it being arsenic trioxide. That just reprecipitated back out. That can't be the case. Because arsenic trioxide, as we've seen, does not dissolve in water this easily at all. <laughs> so we've definitely made something here. All right, now, I, I'm not 100% sure this is going to work, but I think it will. Atomistry describes this a little differently, um, but I, we're going to give it a go, all right? I, I, I feel pretty good calling this tetra arsenite already, but I just want to try this and see. So, this is a little bit of cobalt chloride. Okay, yes, cobalt tetra arsenite is supposed to be an amethyst powder. So a solid. That looks amethyst to me. God damn, that really does. That is a perfect descriptor of that color. Okay. It should turn blue in potassium hydroxide. Theoretically. Yes! We did it! Holy fucking shit, yes! We did it. Oh my god. Cobalt... Ortho arsenite and cobalt meta arsenite, from what I understand, won't do this. We've done it. We've done it. We've made potassium tetra arsenite. This obscure as fuck, jizz looking compound. Um, oh, sorry, kids. Um, snot looking compound. Um, <laughs> we did it. This is it. Holy fucking shit, man. See, this is why I like doing these preps, because these are a true test of my skill. We're doing it with the bare minimum information, just a wing and a prayer, man. Just, you know, can we make it work, and can I find a way to pull it off, and son of a bitch, it worked. It worked. Look at that shit. Oh, it's kind of turning kind of purple now. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It worked. I am so goddamn happy I could shit right now. <laughs> Well, apparently this has to crystallize on long standing. We have no idea how long that means. I guess we just sort of, I mean, it, I can see little solid chunks in it. It looks like the process is kind of already starting. Are you focused there, new camera? And there's some kind of brown shit in here, man. I better not be disproportionate. I'm going to be very, maybe it's photosensitive. That's also a possibility. Well, 
let's wrap this up then and get this fucker out of the light. Of course, I will post updates on um, how it's doing and, and what it, what's going on with it. So anyway, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, well, you have no sense of adventure. Subscribe, comment, share the video. And until the next one, y'all, I'll see you later. I've never been so happy to get a beaker full of fucking snot. <laughs> <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> oh, that's awesome.